Hi guys, I'm Vidya and I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to quickly show you what's inside my toddler's medicine kit. This is not a first aid kit. We have a combined first aid kit for our whole family. I'll show you that maybe in another video. Uh, but this is just some medicines that I keep on hand at home. Um, in case he's sick or if he wants a little bit of comfort until we get to the doctor these are some things that I reach for and this um, this set of medicines has remained the same pretty much since he was born and as he's getting older I've added a few things that are um, you know more toddler appropriate so I'll talk about them as we go on so this this box is just a cookie an old cookie tin um, there's nothing fancy the only requirement I have for a medicine box is that it should have a tight lid so that my toddler cannot get inside it and also I keep the medicines at a very high place so that he does not reach them another thing to note when it comes to medicines for children or any medicines for that matter is to remember the um, remember to keep checking for the expiry dates you don't want to end up with an expired medicine just when you need it so i'll start off with the cold and fever little section here first the most important thing to have with a newborn or a child is a thermometer so we have a couple of different types so this one is the regular digital thermometer that goes under the armpit or um, under your tongue this worked very well it was quite precise um, when vikrant was a little baby and was not moving around that much as he started getting older and more mobile it was harder for us to take his temperature he wouldn't stay still so we got this thermometer this is an infrared thermometer which you don't need to um, touch the baby's skin this can be taken from a little bit of a distance so it's quite handy and the reading is like it, it's pretty quick so you don't have to wait a while to get the reading so this comes in very useful these days next I have some Tylenol which is basically fever medication the active ingredient is acetaminophen in case you're looking for equivalents in different brands in India this um, it's the same as paracetamol or crocin drops or uh, calpol they're all uh, equivalent the dosage depends on the child's weight so I would ask a doctor before administering any medicine uh, for that matter I also have an extra bottle of Tylenol uh, handy because this is not only used for uh, fever but also for any kind of pains or um, any teething discomfort. So if we have um, vaccinations for him this comes in useful. And next I have some Motrin which is uh, infant's um, ibuprofen which is basically a pain medicine. Uh, keep in mind that ibuprofen should not be used for children below six months so this has been um, kind of a recent addition but again it's very effective if the child is um, in pain for any reason next I have Maxtra which I got when we were in India and Vikrant was a little sick so this is a prescription medicine um, so it's basically an antihistamine which works to reduce um, coughing like excessive cough or excessive runny nose or cold then I have two kinds of nasal drops this one is by Little Remedies and it is my favorite um, that I've been using this since he was a baby so it's basically just uh, saline which is just salt water what it does is loosens up the mucus in their nose so that it's easier for them to release it and um, breathe because they cannot blow their noses yet so um, they need a little bit of a help when it comes to clearing their nostrils boogie mist which is this uh, spray container is for uh, slightly older kids and it has a bit more pressure so it comes out with a little more force so uh, we have started using this recently but uh, this one is more gentler for uh, newborns or younger babies so whenever I notice that Vikrant has a little stuffy nose, I put one or two sprays of this uh, saline solution in each nostril or the boogie mist uh, that we've started using recently. And then once the mucus has uh, loosened a little bit, I use this little contraption called the Nose Frida. Uh, what this basically does is helps you get all the mucus out of their nose because they can't blow it out. 
so it is this little tube that goes so this end goes inside the baby's nostril and this end goes inside your mouth so all you do is put this in their nose and suck from this end uh, it sounds gross but it actually works all of the boogers uh, get trapped inside this little thing and they can't go in your mouth because there is a, a little filter there so here is a helpful um, picture but it, it looks very funny but it actually works moving on now uh, so for any medication to dispense a medication we need syringes right i found this um, little thing called the passy dose um, on amazon i'll put a link in the description and i've spoken about this in a few of my videos as well so this is basically a pacifier like thing with a place to put your syringe at the back so what i do is whenever i have to give a medicine i fill up the medicine in the syringe like whatever the dose is and i put it in the back of this passy dose and then give it to him and this part is soft so he does not have a problem sucking on it along with the passy dose i keep a few different syringes of different sizes um, in this little ziploc bag so i can um, access them easily and i make sure that i clean and uh, dry them every time i give a medicine to my son and then i have a couple of gas relief medications the first is gripe water which is very commonly used for any kind of gas or dis uh, like acidity or discomfort for the baby um, so i use this brand by mommy's bliss because it does not have any synthetic preservatives or chemicals added i was surprised how many um, children's medications or children's products have parabens or synthetic additives in them so i was happy to find this brand i also like the one by little remedies so the same brand as a saline they also make gripe water i'll put all the links in the description box for you to check out so this is basically just organic ginger extract organic chamomile extract organic fennel extract and organic lemon balm extract so it's all natural you can even make gripe water at home if you have um, the time and energy um, and then i also have infants mylicon which is uh, basically an antacid it helps in neutralizing the stomach acids i used to use this when vikrant had a um, slightly severe gas he never had like extremely bad gas or colic but whenever i saw that he was in a little bit more discomfort which interfered with his sleep i used to give him one dose of this this is again very safe for newborns and it's been used and recommended by doctors all over so i used to use this once in a while as well i also have some vitamin d drops uh, i don't use these anymore i need to throw them out but for the first year of his life i gave him one drop of vitamin d every day uh, because he was uh, exclusively breastfed and a uh, doctor recommended to give vitamin d i also have some vix baby rub in here uh, to be honest i've not used this a lot only a handful of times it smells really good like i really like the smell and uh, vikrant does not seem to be bothered by it i don't know how effective this is um, it just seems to have a calming smell so i keep it in here in case he is um, fussy for no reason or something um, i plan on using it but i don't use this a lot when kids are sick they tend to get dehydrated a lot so whenever vikrant is not well i make sure that he is taking in enough fluids throughout the day um and when i do feel like he's a little dehydrated i give him this um solution so this is pedialyte which is basically a mix of electrolytes um it's a powder so i put it in some water and let him sip on it it's an orange flavor so he likes it um so the way i check for dehydration is uh, by counting how many times he has peed if if i notice that he hasn't peed in uh, five or six hours he usually uh, you know we change his diaper every three or four hours but if it has gone more than five hours i uh, try to you know up the liquid intake by giving him either water or soups for lunch or you know something like this i also have the adult version of this uh, in here 
I do not give this to him. This is what we use when we are dehydrated, but it's just in here. As Vikrant is getting older and running around more, uh, I've added a few things that are first aid related just in case of small injuries. Uh, I have some band-aids. I have some Neosporin for minor cuts and burns and scratches and things like that. Um, this is basically an antibiotic ointment. And I also have some antibacterial wipes. I have more of these in uh, my diaper bag or any bag that I'm taking outside. But I have a couple of them in here as well. And uh, we are reaching the end now. All I have is some uh, small things. I have some diaper rash ointment. This usually stays uh, with his diapers and wipes. But uh, these days he's not getting a rash that often. So I've just put this in here. And I have a nail, like a grooming kit. So this has got a nail clippers. It's got a little comb and um, a nail file. It also has a forceps that I've lost. But this is another useful little thing. And lastly, I have some baby powder. Now, baby powder is not recommended by doctors these days because it causes respiratory issues when it when those fine particles go inside their lungs. But um, so this is a talc-free powder by Birds Bees, and uh, I only use I only have this in case of a, a rash or uh, something that I have to keep the area dry for. I haven't even opened this bottle, so this is just there in case I need it. So this is everything we have in our first aid kit and it has been fairly consistent since Vikrant was a newborn and as he's getting older we are adding more things like I might add some cotton um, some cotton pads or uh, some rubbing alcohol and some gauze pads you know to make it more first aid um, ready. But yeah, I hope you found this video useful. Do let me know in the comment section if I missed something out. And all of the information will be in the description uh, for you to, you know, start a first aid, a medicine kit uh, for your baby. And I'll see you in one of my next videos. Do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That let me know that I'm making useful content for you. And I'll see you another time. Take care. Bye.